guys, this is Marvin from shopsadapage.com and today we're going to review the Rakgina Illuminated Gaming Headset. Let's get to it! So right here we have the Rakgina Illuminated Gaming Headset. I'll pop the specifications on the screen so you can check it out. In terms of design and construction, I'm actually liking this one. It has an ample weight to it. At the side of the ear cup, we have this cool looking design made of plastic and metal. It has a steel mesh pattern with illumination underneath it. At the center, we have the rack logo that is protected by these steel bars that adds up to the overall aesthetics of this headset. At the top, we have a very durable ABS stainless steel headband with a separate retractable headband suspension that has a nice rack name on it. On the other side, just the same design. At the back of the left side ear cap, we have the volume knob and just below it is the braided cable. At the other side of the same ear cap, we'll see the internal microphone. Flipping it on the other side, we have these cushy ear pads with a rack logo at the center. Another thing that I like with this design is they were able to maintain the consistency of the matte black color across the headband and the ear caps even if they are made of separate materials. My only gripe with this design is the lack of adjustment when it comes to the headband but it's super flexible as you can see and the suspension headband is retractable. As I've mentioned, the cable is braided which is very well appreciated. At the very end, we have the 3.5mm jack for input and output and a standard USB to power the illumination. The cable length is substantial at 7 feet give or take and it's basically tangle free. Now. In terms of comfort, thanks to the relatively lightweight construction and the huge ear cups, it's actually comfortable. It fits perfectly on my head and ears and it stays put just fine. The clamping force is just right without compromising comfort, especially for long sessions. The braided wire although it's thick doesn't make any noticeable unnecessary noise which I think is a nice bonus. In terms of sound quality when listening to music, it's decent enough for my taste. The sound quality is clear and the bass is definitely there, but not too much that it overpowers the rest of the sound frequencies. Coming from a bass heavy Razer Kraken headset, I felt at home with this, albeit a little bit lower bass but it's there. And to be honest, the sound quality is more than enough for casual music listening. But for me, where this headset shines the most is for its intended purpose, which is gaming. Using this while playing CSGO was a very nice experience. You can really hear the low end with the footsteps and gunfire and the overall sound quality is better while gaming. And since this uses a 3.5mm jack, you have that flexibility of plugging this on an audio interface to further enhance the sound quality. Not to mention that you can also use this with your smartphone. In terms of the microphone quality, it's acceptable and it gets the job done. I tested this on CSGO and according to my teammate, he was able to hear me clearly. But don't just take my word for it. Here's a mic test for you guys. This is a mic test for the Rock Gina Illuminated Gaming Headset without any editing. This is a mic test for the Rock Gina Illuminated Gaming Headset with plus 10 decibels boost without any editing. This is a mic test for the Rock Gina Illuminated Gaming Headset with plus 20 decibels boost without any editing. And now, here's how it picks up when you're typing on the keyboard. Mic test, mic test, mic test while typing on keyboard. Although it picks up a lot of unwanted noise, the microphone is still usable nonetheless. So in conclusion, for the most part, my experience with this headset is pretty decent. Maybe a little bit better than what I've expected. The design is very well thought of and the overall construction is substantial enough for daily use. The ear cups are super comfortable and that's coming from someone who has super large ears. The microphone quality is not the best but it's usable to say the least. The braided cable with rubber coating is a very nice touch at this price point. Speaking of price point, at a price of just around 750 pesos, the sound quality is better than you might expect. It produces clear audio with an ample amount of bass and it shines the most while using it for gaming. Let me know guys in the comments below what you think about this review. And if you're interested to grab this one, 
You can get it directly from rock.ph or from Lazada, link down below. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article, link on the description below. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Thank you, have a great day.